wanna stay here now. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Discovering My Rich Life with this moment home. So if you're a long time follower, I am still here, I am still this moment home. We've just done a little bit of a change on the name because of the focus that we're going um, down on this channel basically. So I have talked about it and what it is all about. It's in a video that's the first video here on the channel so definitely go and check that out. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing lots of different things like today's video to make your life more simple, easier, more functional, um, and hopefully cost you less. <laughs> so you have time and money to do the things that you really want to do in your life to have your own rich life. Okay, so yeah, definitely check out that first video and uh, follow along and subscribe if you're new. If you haven't, if you're not already subscribed, if you're not a long time viewer and you've just discovered the channel, definitely subscribe because I'll be doing so many videos on this channel like I used to, to do with all this kind of stuff. So um, yeah, hopefully it helps you too. So here in today's video, I thought I would do a fun little video where I go to Coles and have a look at this new brand that they have called Simply, which is basically just Coles's home brand. So it's a bit like when back in the day they had the brand um, black and gold, if you remember that. It's kind of like that and it's yellow as well. So um, I, I kind of seen bits and pieces, I've seen advertisements and I thought that's really great. Coles is trying to put forward you know, a, a new home brand, I think. They're, I think they're just trying to rebrand their current home brand, but they're putting forward products that are more affordable for people, um, especially with the cost of living and everything that, you know, maybe people can go to them now and buy things a little bit more affordable. I do feel a lot of this stuff is even cheaper than Aldi, so that will be interesting to see and really great for the people that don't even have an Aldi. <laughs> so you can look at that. For me, personally, when I try home brand stuff, it's kind of can be hit and miss. You know, for example, the Woolworths home brand pasta, absolutely hate it, couldn't even eat it, we threw it out, it was terrible. Very low quality, terrible, you know, that's obviously why it was cheaper. However, the Aldi brand pasta, which is pretty much the same price, absolutely loved it, was really great. So, I'm going to be trying, you know, a few products here and there from Coles. I thought we'd go to the supermarket, pick up a few things, and then I'll spend the next, say, week um, trying them, seeing if they work, seeing if they taste good and things, and let you guys know what it's like so you don't have to go out and spend your own money and waste your own money if it's not any good. I'll be doing that for you. So if this is good and it's something you like, please comment below and I will perhaps do some more videos on the same brand, on the Simply brand, and trying some other stuff as well. So yeah, let's get to the supermarket and see what we can find. Okay, hopefully you can see me there. <laughs> My holder's not doing great today. Um, so I was just thinking on my way to the supermarket, I'm thinking what types of things will I try to get? And obviously I want it to be useful stuff, which I think being that the brand is what it is and what it's supposed to be about, I think most of it will be useful. Like if it's cleaning products and things like that. As far as food and that goes, I'm just gonna try to pick things that I think most people would have just from a day-to-day -day basis. I think that's what we'll do. Um, and if there's some drinks of some sort too, I might look at that because drinks can be difficult, um, especially with the <laughs> price rise of soft drinks and you know just bottles in general for things. I think you know if you're wanting a treat for your family, for example. You know the price of soft drinks gone up um, you know the juice has gone up you know things like that water's definitely gone up that kind of stuff so I want to try to find I don't know just things that I think a lot of people that watch my channel because I do know you guys a lot of people that watch my channel that will actually want to purchase and enjoy so we'll see how we go alrighty I am back now I actually thought I had the toilet paper at home so I didn't buy it but they do have toilet paper. Turns out I don't have the toilet paper, I have a Woolworths one. So I'm actually gonna get toilet paper maybe for my next video. So if you have tried any of these products I'm about to show you or you can suggest any ones that I should try, please comment below. Toilet paper being one of them, we'll see how that goes. But 
for today. I got the actual paper towel. They're quite small, the rolls. Um, they are a two-ply. It is two-ply, but it's quite thin. So you can see the two-ply there. I've just opened it up to try it. It's definitely not very thick. Um, so we'll see how that goes as far as cleaning absorption goes. It was $2.20 for the two-pack, which was cheaper than their Ultra brands that they've got. I think their Ultra brand's three-ply, though. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I feel like you might go through this very quickly. So I guess it depends how thick you actually want it. But again, if you're on a budget, $2.20 is not bad. We have a fruit drink here, which we've just started buying fruit drinks instead of actual juice. Just because juice is quite strong for like especially Isabella like it just it hurts her tummy it's just too much for her so she prefers a watered down version which is what I think this probably is um I always say fruit drinks like the Majora brand and things in the supermarket and think you know maybe we'll try it um we have purchased the Majora one to try it it was a lot more expensive than this one this one was only $2.30 for this one which is pretty good now, they do have a Coles brand, so not the Simply, but a Coles brand actual orange juice. I did compare the actual sugars on it because I thought, you know, maybe this one would be much higher than, you know, their orange juice. In fact, this was only, so this says the carbohydrates say 23 and the sugars say 22.8. I'm pretty sure the sugars on the actual, so the first one was, was that 23? I'm pretty sure their sugars actually were 23 and their carbohydrates were like 21 so it wasn't that much different honestly i feel like again this is like a watered down version of juice um this one has 20 percent juice in it actually that's actually higher 20 percent is actually higher than the muldura one i'm pretty sure it was the muldura one i had and it was like 15 percent like it wasn't very high so 20 percent's not bad we'll see how this tastes see if the kids like it for us it's not something they're allowed to drink all day so i'm not highly you know crazy about the sugar levels like you know you can't have that ever sort of thing <laughs> um they know drinks like this can just be had at say lunchtime on the weekend and at dinner time that's when that's when we have soft drinks special drinks you know otherwise they just drink water for the rest of the time so i don't mind having this the sugar's pretty okay because other than this we will have soft drink we will have um cordial as well so for us it's not so bad so we'll see how it tastes you guys know that I love the Woolworths and the Aldi brand of the laundry liquid, which is about the same price as this, which is $2. The only difference for me that I can see right now is this is lemon and the other ones are apple. I'm pretty sure the Woolworths one and the Aldi one probably come out of the same factory because they're both the same and they seem to be the same. They work the same, they smell the same. They yeah, are just as good as each other and we really like it because we Isabella Joseph and I all have a reaction to laundry liquids um but we don't get a reaction with the Woolworths brand or the Aldi brand one so I'm interested in trying this one it is lemon I'll see how thick it is oh interesting it's actually it's blue the other one's green I expected it to be yellow I think I don't know um it looks just as thick too I'll have to see how it goes in a wash I'll do a load today and we'll see how we go but as far as the smell goes, it doesn't smell that lemony to me. To me, it smells just more like a actual laundry liquid of some sort, like a basic sort of ocean breeze type smell. Um, not really lemon to me, and it does say lemon, so that was weird. Um, I always wash on cold as well. I do have a very good washing machine that washes my clothes well, so that's why the Woolworths and the LD cheap $2 brand work for us. Um, but we'll see how this one goes. I think, again, if you're on a budget, if it's going to work, then this would be a very good option. We get pasta because uh, Rhiannon, my friend, was trying this. If you don't follow Rhiannon, I will put the link below in my description. Most of you already that follow me follow Rhiannon. She started doing weekly, you know, just weekly vlogs since she came back from her um, cruise last year. So definitely follow her. I'll put her in the comments. Uh, sorry, not in the comments, in the actual description. But she did try this pasta. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm actually making spaghetti bolognese tonight. So we're going to try this and see if we like it. Or see if we just think it's like the Woolworths brand and hate it. Hopefully not because we want it for dinner. So we'll see how it goes. But this was only 90 cents. Now they didn't have a big range in the Simply brand at all. They had spirals, penne and just spaghetti. Generally for us we'll buy um, spaghetti. We love spaghetti. We'll buy spirals and we like bows. 
um, but there was no bows in this brand so I couldn't get that so we'll see how this goes as a cheaper option to be honest it's the same price roughly as Aldi so there's not that much difference but if you don't have an Aldi this could be a good option for you I did go against the grain and bought this as well seeing as I'm making spaghetti bolognese I thought I would buy their um, Simply Pasta sauce. So, again, if you've been watching me for a long time, I buy the big, what is it, what's this one, 510. So I think it's like a 700 gram jar from Woolworths. It's on the bottom shelf, it's quite hidden. It used to be $2, $2.10, now it's actually $2.70, I think it is quite expensive. It is bigger than this, but I always love it. I use that as my base, I add a lot more veggies and things into it, just love it. I thought I would try this one. This one's only 510 grams, but this was only $2.10 for this jar. Um, and it actually has a four star health rating on it, which I thought was really good. So we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to make my um, spaghetti like I normally would um, with the sauce and adding my extra veggies and stuff with the mince and stuff. You know, we'll just see how it goes. I'll make it as normal as I normally do just with this sauce and we'll see if... I don't know if we like it, if it tastes any different or whether this might be another good option. The other thing with, I guess, I mean, it is cheaper. So for me, it probably would work out better to buy this one um, because generally, say in a 500 gram lot of mints, I'll actually use two of the 700 gram jars just because we like a lot of actual liquid sauce in it um, more than just more than the meat. You know what I mean? So that mixed in with the veggies and stuff is really good. So I will use two jars of this with 500 grams tonight when I cook. I also got these milk choc buttons. Now I got these not because I'm thinking of doing anything in particular with them, but I thought I would try them because they could be a great option for a number of things that you want to do. If you wanted to make a trail mix, maybe you could use these. They are a melting chocolate, but maybe they taste nice. Maybe you could add them in. They're a cheap option to do that. This is 375 grams for less than three dollars actually two dollars fifty for this so i'm just having a look uh, milk contains milk soy made in australia i can't really see much more than this ingredients palm kernel oil cocoa powder natural vanilla flavor it seems to be pretty basic it seems to be pretty much like the rest of them so it does have a sustainable palm oil in it so we'll see how it goes so something like this is really good like I said you can make a trail mix you can melt the chocolate down and just cover some bickies for a treat with some sprinkles on them we do that a lot of the time with those like Mari biscuits we can do that you could use this in an icing for um, a cake perhaps you can melt it down for a dessert there's lots of different things you could do with it or maybe you just want some chocolate and you just want something to try you know a little bit of a handful here and there while you're cooking dinner I don't know not saying that I do that ever guys but maybe I do maybe I do um, but I don't know I thought I'd just get this and try it because it is quite a good size packet and much cheaper than obviously the other brands it's like at least half the price so it could be a good option um, I did get it just because I thought oh that's an interesting product um, to have in you know the simply range especially because there's not a lot there in my particular supermarket there actually it was hard to find stuff there wasn't a huge range in this simply brand so I don't know if that's normal I don't know if maybe city stores have more or country stores have you know more again because they're out of you know the city a bit more and maybe they need to reduce prices I don't know um, I don't know if my store has the full range is what I'm trying to say so it was hard to find things, I'll be honest, so I'm interested to sort of see, but to have something like that was very interesting. I think I saw flour, that might be another one to try. Sugar would be good because sugar is sugar, so if they do it in a Simply brand that's just cheaper, then that by far is a really good purchase. So I didn't see that today, I don't think, but I will go back and have a bit more of a look around. And the last thing I got was the dishwashing liquid. I'm actually out of dishwashing liquid. I normally buy the Woolworths home brand one, or I buy Tandle from Aldi, which I really, really like. So we'll see how this goes. Now, the other ones I do buy are normally the concentrate, so I don't need to use a lot in, you know, my water if I'm doing stuff. I will use this in my cleaning bottles as well. Um, we do have a dishwasher, but I will give this a go and see what it's like. I do have a pan out there that's quite dirty, so I'll try that and sort of see what I think perhaps um, with it. But it's not a concentrate, it's just a liquid. So I don't know how this will go. I don't know if it'll work as well, I guess is what I'm trying to say, or whether I'll have to use more. 
this was under two dollars I think it was like a dollar ninety maybe it was cheap it was around two dollars anyway so but like I said it is just a liquid not a concentrate so I might end up using more I don't know we'll see how we go so we'll do a few loads of dishes and <laughs> see what we think all right I have the orange juice I'm gonna try oh, not orange juice orange fruit drink I'm gonna try oh it's nice it weirdly just tastes like, honestly, fresh oranges I've picked off my Nan's tree and we've squeezed the oranges in it. It tastes like that. I don't know if this might be too strong for Isabella. I'll have to get her to try it because normally, like I said with juices, she needs it a bit watered down, otherwise it's too strong for her. But to me, this just tastes like a really nice fresh orange juice. It doesn't, but it's not, obviously, because it's a fruit drink. I don't know it's nice it's, it's really nice I, it's hot today look at me I'm melting already but I think if this had ice in it because it is such a hot day it'd be really refreshing and really good I like it I like it a lot wow for the price that's a really good price I think for me I'll probably keep buying this and mix this up between having a bottle of soft drink in the house and some cordial do you know what I mean just so we've got something else different in it because the kids really do like it when I have juice but it does usually cost me a fortune or it's too strong for Isabella. So having something like this is actually really good. So yeah, I'm not mad about this one. I'm not mad about the sugar levels in it. Like I said, juices generally got quite high sugar in it anyway. I think this is a really good option. Um, just yeah, put some ice in it so it's a bit colder I think. Mine's probably not quite as cold because I've obviously had it in the car from grocery shopping and things, but it's nice, it's really nice. I'm about to add the pasta sauce into my mince right now for spaghetti bolognese tonight. So I've already done my mince and I've already got my veggies. So I normally put uh, zucchini, carrot, onion, and a bit of capsicum. That's what I've done. This actually looks really good. It's quite thick. It's not watery. It looks quality, guys. Like, it really does. I think this is going to be really nice. This is looking really good. I'm going to put this on simmer and have it simmer for at least half an hour. That's normally what I do. The only other thing I did was I added a little bit of tomato sauce in there just because we really like to have... I don't know, we just like the extra little taste in um, all our pasta sauces. doesn't matter what brand it is. So I just did it because that's what I normally do. So we'll give that a go. But um, after I do this, I'm going to cook up that pasta, the Simply Pasta. And we're going to have it for dinner and I'll let you know what we think. All right, I'm going to try the paper towel. I'm going to clean the kids' bathroom mirror because... Oh, you can't really see on the camera. But it's pretty bad. <laughs> It's a lot of toothpaste mess going on. Um, I did actually put some of the dishwashing liquid in my bottle too. So I, I usually clean with um, sort of half vinegar, half water with some dishwashing liquid in it. So because I didn't have any, that's what I used in this bottle. We'll see how that works as well. Just to see if it goes streaky and stuff. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fine because I don't put a lot in here anyway. But I just thought I'd let you know that. Oh, it's actually cleaning well. Which is good, actually. I think this probably, actually, to be honest, I think that the dishwashing liquid, because it's a liquid and not, um, oh, whoops, not a, like, concentrate, I think it's actually probably better for my cleaning bottle because, oh, <laughs> um, it's definitely coming off a lot easier and less streaky. Wow, that actually cleaned up a lot better so that's probably a combination of things it's probably because it's actually really good but also oh look at that not streaky at all it's cleaned up a lot quicker than it normally does so I can tell you that um, so yeah probably a combination of <laughs> it's not being thick like quite as thick obviously in the mix and that it's actually really good I like it there's a bit of light there, but that's just the light. Wow, that's cleaned really well. The paper towels actually worked really well. The only thing is I probably pulled off a lot more than what I normally would cleaning um, because it was so thin. So, hmm. The paper towel, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. It worked well, it cleaned well, but I used a lot more of it because it's, it's two-ply, which should be thicker than this, I feel. I feel like this is a very thin two-ply. I feel like a one-ply and a different brand, like a more expensive brand, probably would be this. So I feel like I'd probably go through this a lot quicker and then therefore have to buy more, if that makes sense. So you just have to weigh up 
you know, how you go with it. It absorbs well and everything. It cleans that mirror super well. Um, and like I said, the actual dishwashing liquid in this bottle, I think actually works better for me than the Tandil and things that's highly concentrated, just because it's more liquidy. It's cleaned really well and it sparkles. It's amazing. Look how shiny that is, guys. I thought I'd just continue on with the bathroom because I need to clean their bathroom anyway. So I thought I'd just see how the fittings come up because usually I use that same spray on there. It's so shiny, it's not streaky, which is great. It was very quick to clean because normally, I think with the Tandil and the other liquid I use because they're a high concentrate, it takes me longer to clean because I have to continually polish, especially like with the mirrors and stuff like that. It leaves a residue somewhat, you know what I mean? Even though I'm not putting much in. So I'm very happy with that. I think I'm converted with this dishwashing liquid. I think I'm going to use every product today, guys. <laughs> I thought I was going to take a week. I think I'm going to do it all today. I am using the laundry liquid. Look at Johnny's work pants. Absolutely filthy from work. So I'm going to put this on. I actually don't really have much else in here apart from a towel that he used um, after work as well that's got dust on it like this and dirt. So I'm, I'm just going to do a small load, but I'm going to use the laundry liquid. Just see how it comes out. See what it smells like is the main thing for me too. Um, and if it's too strong. Hopefully... Obviously, I can't tell yet if my kids will have a reaction or I'll have a reaction to it. But I feel like the main thing is cleaning-wise, obviously, for you guys. So we're going to put this load on and see how they come out. Like I said earlier, I feel like it's, it's got lemon scent in it, but it's not very strong. It honestly smells like, definitely like a laundry powder, that kind of smell, or a laundry liquid of some sort. But it's not overly just lemony. Whereas the Aldi and the Woolworths apple one, to me, smells like apple. That's what it smells like. This doesn't smell bad, but I'm just letting you know, if you're after a really lemon smell, to me, it doesn't smell highly lemon, if that makes sense. So I think people will really like the smell of this. It's not... It, it smells like you run into the mill laundry liquid. That's what it smells like, like Omos and things like that, you know? Not a flowery scent, I don't know what I'm saying. More like an ocean breeze scent, I'll say that. So yeah, and it's blue, it's not yellow. I thought it would be yellow, but I don't know. Not that the color makes a difference to it at all, um, but yeah, interesting. This is an interesting mix, so I'm interested to see how it goes, especially for $2. The milk chalk buttons, obviously I'm not going to melt this down because I don't have anything to do that with. But honestly, I feel like it would just melt down like any other chocolate would. <laughs> what I'm interested in is the taste um, and things that I could use it for. I have noticed that the buttons are, they're small. They're smaller than normal. Normally you get probably, oh, this is probably the size of a five cent piece. And I would say a normal button is probably around the size of a 10 cent piece here in Australia. So they're smaller, which means they'll melt easier. That would be that would be a good thing. Um, I think if you were going to use this in like different mixes and things, or just as a little treat on ice cream or something, I think it would work really well. I don't know if you could use it in... Could you use it? Easy to melt. I don't know if you could use this because of the size of it. Maybe you could use this in making choc chip cookies, although it would melt, obviously. But yeah, it probably wouldn't hold its shape, but I think it would be good for that. So, I don't know, we'll give this a bit of a try. We'll see what it tastes like. Mm. It's obviously not Cadbury, <laughs> which is my favorite chocolate in the world. But, mm, it reminds me of, reminds me a lot of this. It reminds me of freckles, like the chocolate we, on that are called freckles. You know, it's got the hundreds and thousands on them. It tastes like that. It tastes like there's like a button mix at Kmart that has like a milk chocolate, like a yellowy sort of chocolate, and like a freckle look as well. It tastes like that. That's the type of chocolate it tastes like. So it actually tastes like other chocolates that aren't Cadbury. It tastes like your home brand chocolate blocks and things like that. It's actually very nice. I think this would be good if you had to melt it down and you were, um, you know, making it solid again for something i think it'd be a really really nice taste but like i said if you just want to put because they're small they're fairly small if you just want to put this in some sort of trail mix or um on ice cream or some sort of dessert for the kids and stuff i think this would be a really cheap option for the price of it it's a really good thing and you wouldn't need a lot like a little bit goes a long way as far as the taste goes so i don't feel like like it's sweet i don't feel like it's something they wanting want you to go back and back back for because 
or for you if you're in the kitchen cooking like I am right now um, because it is you know it's sweeter than Cadbury I will say that but it's really nice like I think that's totally worth the price especially for 375 grams it's actually a really good size last thing we're using today is the pasta so I can't believe I've used everything today um, <laughs> I just wanted to point out this is a 100% Australian pasta so that's actually a good thing for those looking for Australian only products especially when it comes to ingredients and it's got a four health star rating which is actually really good too so I don't know we'll see how this cooks up and see what it tastes like is it as good as my San Remo brand that I absolutely love time to try the pasta the pasta actually cooked really well the, the bolognese looks whoa fuck it up because that's how hot it is the bolognese smells and looks delicious so fingers crossed it tastes just as good and then maybe you'll have me converted to this as well I'd just like to state that this is unheard of. This is Isabella's bowl. If you don't know, Isabella likes plain pasta. She likes plain rice as well. She's just, she loves them. She could just eat bucket loads of it. All of recent though, she has been getting me to put a little bit of, I'll say the bolognese sauce, the spaghetti bolognese I'm making, into her bowl. And she sometimes eats it, sometimes doesn't. She usually leaves half of it. Tonight, she ate it all and she come to me because she wanted some in it to try it. And I put a fair bit in there. Like it wasn't like nothing. Like I mixed it all in, it was quite good. And she came to me after she had it. She goes, I, that was so delicious. And I look at this mum, I've had it all. And Joseph hasn't finished his yet. Like she loved it. Like she absolutely loved the flavor. I thought it was actually really good too. I probably I'd love it if they did like a um, I think that one was onion and garlic wasn't it I'd love it if they did like a garden vegetable one as well that would be really good um, but other than that like I, I liked it I really liked it to the point of I probably swapped to that instead of the Woolworths one now because I feel like it had a lot more flavor in it like it was just I know I really liked it um, Joseph liked it too but he's still like it doesn't taste like normal and to be honest, over the last like couple of months, my spaghetti bolognese to him hasn't been tasting like normal because he likes the Costco mints and I've been, not been at Costco, I've been purchasing from the other supermarkets. So I think he likes the sauce, but he wants the mints. He wants the meat to be the Costco one, which is just better quality and tastes so much nicer. I could just imagine that mints with that sauce and oh my gosh, it would be delicious. So we're very much sold on that. As far as the pasta goes, didn't taste bad at all. Tasted good, it was nice, um, it's spiral so it's hard for me to tell if I would like it as much as this um, San Remo spaghetti that I absolutely just love. So I'm thinking I might actually buy the spaghetti in the Slim Simply range next and try that. But the spiral, very good. Very good for just something like that or you're doing um, maybe like a carbonara or a pasta salad or something like that. It would be good. It tasted nice. It wasn't bad. It was not like the Woolworths home brand one that I had that was just so bad we didn't eat it. <laughs> like shot in high like Whoa. It, I don't even know what was going on with that pasta, but it was not nice. Um, so yeah, we're all for it. So the pasta, great. The spaghetti sauce, excellent. If you're on a budget, that is amazing. Now I have come into the laundry to check the pants and see how they're going. They're clean, but to be fair, I didn't actually check if there's something in Johnny's pockets, because normally there's not, but there seems to be something that's gone through. Oh, and it looks like it has been in his pocket. I don't know what was in there. <laughs> there was some sort of paper. The pants are clean though. All the mud and dust and everything's gone off them, which is good. They, they definitely have a lasting smell, which the Apple one doesn't. Um, but I think that's why we don't have a reaction to it. Like it smells nice. It just, it's not a strong after smell, I'll say. I think Johnny will like this because he prefers to use the really, really high smelling stuff because just of what he is a man, you know what I mean? He gets all sweaty and stuff. So I think he's actually going to like this liquid. Um, so I think this is actually a good option for him. I don't know if I'll use it for mine, Joseph and Isabella's clothes, the laundry liquid, because I think with that scent. I can already tell we might come out with a bit of a itchy rash and stuff because we're just very sensitive whereas the other one we're not and we're used to it so I'll probably keep washing our clothes with that one but Johnny's with that one which will save money because now I don't have to spend a lot of money on laundry liquid for him now so I'm pretty happy with that so I think all in all if 
you don't have sensitivities and stuff, try the Coles Simply brand one. Um, if you have sensitivities, definitely use the Aldi or the Woolworths one because we're pretty good with that and it's fine. It smells fresh afterwards for us, not highly strong smell. That's got a really strong smell, like very strong. Um, and like I said, it's not like a lemon, it smells, I don't know, just different. But yeah, I think try, smell it before you buy it in the supermarket and see if you actually like the smell. Okay, so just to run through everything again, the dishwashing liquid I used on dishes as well, wonderful. I've put everything away and stuff because I just forgot I was trying to clean up. Um, but putting in the water, very soapy. I didn't need to use a lot. It was very good. Smelt nice. I don't think I washed like a cup and then drank out of it just to make sure it didn't have that soapy taste in it. You know, sometimes that happens with um, kids' school lunch boxes, things like that. If you see people on Facebook, like mum's complaining about that with certain dish tablets and stuff like that. It seemed pretty fine. I will say that there's something in it that makes things sparkle. Like it did the mirror, like it did the tapware. I washed um, a saucepan lid and it's glass and it's got things like, and it came up really shiny. So I don't know, it worked really well for me. I didn't put a lot in the water because um, the smell of it is very nice too. So it will work for cleaning and stuff like that too. But I wasn't sure on how overpowering it might be. But I didn't need to use a lot. So that was really good. So like the dishwashing liquid, that was very cheap. Uh, what have I got? Laundry liquid, as I've just said now. Oh, the orange fruit drink, half of it's already gone. The kids absolutely loved it. Um, Johnny's not here because he's at work, but I think he'd really like it too. Um, it tastes, to me, it just tastes like an orange juice on. It's like a freshly squeezed orange juice though. Not these thick orange juices that you get in the supermarket. It's it's much lighter and easier to drink. Um, Isabella loved it, so that was a bonus. Um... The pasta sauce is how I said before. Definitely, I think I'm actually going to change. Can you believe it? I've been using that Woolworths pasta sauce for, oh, for as long as I can remember, like for years. It's just one I always tell people to buy and stuff because it's nice and I always put my own veggies in. It's really good. It's a large jar and everything. But since the price has gone up, I feel like that one, like the Coles Simply one, is a better value for what it is. And it tastes really nice. I actually tasted it out of the jar before I put it into the mince and stuff too, just to see and it was really nice. So I knew it was going to be good. Um, so yeah, I think I'm converted. <laughs> Can you believe that? I can't believe that. So really liked that. All oh, the little melting chocolates. Again, I think that's, that's a win-win. If you are just after something that's not as expensive as Cadbury, um, if you want to use it for melting, which is what the purpose is for, for that one, perfect. But I think you could use it for a lot of other things. Just use your creativity with that one. Um, and if the kids want a little bit of chocolate, you could give them like a few little buttons and I think they that would tie them over like that was actually a great price what was that two dollars fifty for that bag so that was good um the pasta oh the spiral pasta is how I said before I am going to try the spaghetti I'm going to see how, what I think of the actual spaghetti and then the paper towel I personally don't think it's one that I'll buy again just because it worked fine it absorbed pretty well but I feel like I used a lot of it more than what I would normally use so I just think I would end up buying more and it's just, it's not worth it. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather just buy what I buy um, to use. So yeah, all in all, I think that was a really successful test. Um, I loved most of the products, obviously. I like where Coles is going with this Simply brand. Um, and maybe that stuff was already in their store, just under like a Coles name brand or something like that. I don't know because I didn't try it. Do you know what I mean? So. Maybe their marketing's really smart. Maybe how they've done it. I was very drawn to the yellow. I liked it. It stood out to me. So maybe it's just a change of packaging. Maybe that's what it is. Um, but in all, smart marketing. I tried it. I liked it. I'm converted. I'll buy some of that stuff. So I was really happy with it. So if you want any of these products, definitely go to your local Coles. Try them. Um, and yeah, see what you think. I am looking forward to doing another one of these videos. So let me know in the comments other products that you've tried in that brand or that you want me to try it. And I'll try them for you so you don't have to spend your own money. Um, but so far, toilet paper and the spaghetti, I'm going to use both of those and see what they're like. And I'll see what else I can find in the supermarket as well. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye. Cause I